It meant, it meant a lot. Starting from the season, we started out, we were struggling a lot. So this win really meant a lot for us. Showed how together we were. Oh, it took a lot of effort from all, every guy that played. Stepped out on the court tonight. It just, it just a lot of toughness out of us. It took a lot of toughness out of us. Oh, uh, we we like being underdogs, so we we just had to embrace it. We just had to embrace it, and then uh, we'll be fine. Uh, what was the environment like tonight? Does that bring the best out of you? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. It was it was fun though. It was fun playing out there. Uh, I just uh, the coach's game plan that that really made me excel out there. So. Yeah. It was huge uh, just to come out here on the road against a great team and a, a great coach team. Uh, just to get the win, it's everything. You guys, especially you and David, leaders of this team, but you generally don't show a whole lot of emotion. At the end, you were very excited. What did it mean to this Carroll team? Oh, just to uh, just come back from the start we had at the beginning of the year where we, uh, we just couldn't find our identity at first, but I think we found it now. It's just in our defense and just staying together. And I mean, on the back of our shirts, we're always staying united. And you see it with our fans and the community. It's just a great feeling. What, did, uh, what was the factor that you get going in the third quarter, especially offensively? Uh, just uh, my teammates, uh, they just kept confidence in me. You know, I mean, no matter how many shots I missed in the first, uh, the first quarter, uh, they just tell me, keep shooting the ball, keep shooting the ball, they're going to fall. And uh, they did, and they found me in great spots. And I just uh, give all the credit to them. As a shooter, when you see a couple go down, how much easier is it to let it fly knowing you got that confidence? Oh, after the first two go down, you start getting that feeling. Uh, it's easier to start letting the next ones go. Uh, this Bruins team, they like to score the ball. You held them to 50. What type of effort defensively did this Bruins team bring? Uh, we just gave great effort through the full 32 minutes. Uh, we knew that it was going to be tough. Sidney Curry's a great player. They had some really quick players. I mean, they're just a great team. And it, was, it took a full team effort to come out here and win this game. You lost the opener. How much did that chip kind of grow throughout the year? Uh, we knew as soon as that, uh, as soon as we lost that first game, uh, it was going to be an uphill battle. But we were up for the challenge. We knew that we were just going to take it one game and one day at a time. And I think we're doing that. What about this environment that maybe brings out the best in you? Oh, it's about this. Is it's what you play for. It's what you grow up looking at. And uh, with the, our student section was amazing. Our student section was amazing. The gym was rocking. It was just, it was a great atmosphere. Well, I just collective effort. I mean, we, we have rules, we have, you know, responsibilities, and they got to be accountable to each other. And, you know, we gave them some transition stuff early. We turned the ball in game transition stuff. We, we fouled a jump shooter. I mean, we broke down a couple of times, but overall, we were pretty solid. And uh, we rebounded the ball fairly well, too, against their, their size and athleticism. So I'm really proud of the guys. They hung tough. They, they played together. You know, they, they wanted it. So good for them. What was the message at halftime? Because Daniel and David were pretty much the old offense, but you guys, they turned up the intensity, but so did you. What was the, the third quarter that changed? you got to attack the basket more. I mean, if, if you you know come off a ball screen, you got to attack the basket. And that's going to create shots for the people. And, and, and it worked sometimes. Sometimes it didn't work. But, you know, we, we, try, we tried to attack the basket some layups. And they'd start pressing us, and we were able to get some stuff there too. So overall, we're proud of them. We're, we're very happy for them. Obviously, Daniel, David, they don't show a whole lot of emotion. At the end, they were kind of emotion. They were into it. Uh, do you enjoy seeing a kid like that, especially maybe break out a little bit? Well, I don't want emotion early. I think emotion is overrated. I think it, uh, it loses your focus a little bit. But when the, when the game was pretty much over, now you can show emotion. I mean, that's the time to do it. But, you know, I, I, I think if you show a lot of emotion too soon, you're, you're just gonna, your energy is going to be gone and you're going to come to highs and lows. You just got to stay focused and solid.